I just want to uh, leave a little thought with the children who are here this morning. Uh, so boys and girls, if you lend me your ears, let me just quote a, a verse of scripture to you. And it's this. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And any of you who are eagle-eyed would see our brother Alan just slipping forward to the pulpit and leaving a little orange here in the pulpit. And of course... I could tell you this morning that this is an orange. Isn't that right? You know to look at it. It's got an orange skin. And I could tell you this is a very good orange, that it's juicy and it's sweet. I could tell you it'll not do you any harm. I could tell you that it'd be better for you than some of the chocolate Easter eggs you may have filled your belly with uh, during the Easter period. And all that information that I could give you, you could say, you know, Mr. McLaughlin's right. That is an orange. I know the difference between an orange and an apple and a banana. And, and that's wonderful that the Lord has given us that insight. And you might even accept, you know, I believe that this is a, a juicy orange. And this would be good for me, fill me full of vitamin C. Certainly better than, 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 than chocolate. But how do you really know that all that I've said is true, you'll never know that until you actually peel it and you partake of it yourself. This verse of scripture that I've quoted to you from uh, Psalm 34, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that trusteth in him, was a piece of advice or counsel that I gave to one of our guides in the town of Wittenberg on Friday. We met a guy called Oliver, can't remember his surname. He was certainly a very articulate, very educated man. And he was explaining to us about Martin Luther, the unlikely hero of the Reformation, kneeling his 95 theses to the church door at Wittenberg. And he told us, and he told us with conviction, and he said this, that the Bible teaches that salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And he said, it's not the church that saves the individual sinner. It is Christ. And he said it with conviction. And he said it with compassion. He said it with power. Now, we were all grouped together, and I have to tell you, it was bitterly cold in Wittenberg on that particular morning. I, I was foundered. I, and our dear sister, Glenna Strong, she was cold as well, and there was a number of others. And, and Oliver spoke for about 10 minutes on Reformation principles as we stood at the door. We got inside the castle church in Wittenberg, and then Oliver dropped the bombshell. And the bombshell was this. I was brought up Lutheran. I know the doctrine intellectually, theoretically, but I then went to Italy met a lady who was from the Roman Catholic faith, married her, and converted to become a Roman Catholic. And he said, I'm lost now. And uh, the Reverend Millen, by the way, when we came in through the door of Wittenberg Church, nudged me and said, he would make a good free Presbyterian, wouldn't he? And of course, we, we said yes. But, but then he dropped that bombshell. And that sort of, oh, do you know, it, it was like switching the light off. We, we, were, we felt so sad and grieved for Oliver. And at the end of the tour, when we got round to uh, what is now called um, Martin Luther's house, uh, that's where he lived um, during the time of the Reformation, a very large house. But just at the end of that tour, uh, I asked Oliver if I could speak to him for a moment. Uh, and I told him, I said, Oliver, the Bible says... Taste and see that the Lord is good. And I said, you know, Christ is like an orange. And I'm not saying that disrespectfully. I said, you can believe that an orange is an orange. You can believe that it's juicy. And that it tastes good. And you can believe that it will be good for your system, fill you full of vitamin C. But intellectually... Stating those propositional truths about an orange is not enough, Oliver. You've actually got by an act of faith to repent of sin before God and ask Christ to become your Lord and Savior. And even though you profess to be lost 
and lost to Protestantism, lost to Christ. If you genuinely trust Christ, you can be saved. And young people, it's important, as the Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. It's not enough to intellectually believe certain things about Christ and the Bible. You've got to actually, and that's a, a, a part of faith, intellectual believe in those propositions are true, but that's not the whole message of faith. True faith means trusting in Christ, adhering to Christ, and relying alone on Christ. So I leave that little thought with you. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I ask you, have you tasted Christ for yourself? Have you took Christ to be your own personal Lord and Saviour? And if someone was to talk to you, you could tell them of the time when you actually trusted Christ. Not just talk about the truths. Oh, I believe the Bible. I believe Jesus as Son of God. I believe Jesus died for my sins. But you actually have trusted Christ. Pray for Oliver that the Lord may open his eyes uh, to that truth and to many other truths that he seems lost to at this time.